Hey, Pastor Merrick, so good to see you again. Uh, just wanted to touch base with you, get an update on everything going on in Poland with the refugees and uh, everything going on with your ministry. So good to see you again. Good to see you, Chad, <laughs> all the way from Poland. Yes. Really strange time and very difficult time, and we don't know what can happen tomorrow or in one week. Mm. Hard to say. Mm. So just give us a little bit of an update since the last time we talked. Okay, let me let me tell you this. Uh, we still have all the time that we take care of 36 children, mothers, and, ref and orphanage children in our center, that they stay with us almost 40 days. Wow. And then uh, we don't know how long they will do. We provided for them everything, accommodation, food. Uh, we take care of them. If they get sick, we, we, we take them to the doctors. And then we had also already some, uh, some difficulties with some children, so they end up in the hospitals. But everything went well, so they came back and they stay stay in our center. So all kind of challenges that we have to help them, and then we're willing to do. I don't know how long it will happen and how long it will continue to do this, but uh, we, we're doing what we can you, just to bless those those precious children. And then the stories are just uh, outstanding how they came out, and then and also in our center through our center. Over 200 refugees uh, came through. They came, uh, they, they get, they get uh, refreshed, and they were sent to other homes in in different different places in in Poland, in our in our area. So lots of lots of work. But but most most important it is that uh, we just show the God's love for those people. We've got phone calls all the time. I've got phone calls all the time asking uh, uh, if we can receive or not. Well, right now we have the whole building and we can't uh, use other facilities for them, but what, what we do, uh, we, just, we just help them. So children are going to the school now and then uh, they're getting better and better with the schools. And then those two ladies that they are uh, orphanage, that they're taking care of the orphanage children, they probably will be employed in the school too. So we, this is a very good wow. good sign. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. And I know you mentioned just the uh, outreach from your local community and what a testimony the work your church is doing is to your community and how people that are not even a part of your church have No, no, it's, it's amazing because you know we are the uh, uh, the the, the the, 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 as a church, we, we have the biggest group right now in our community, and they, they are so touched, people so touched with different companies and then restaurants. So even when we do evangelization events on the square in Gripu, right, one restaurant, see, they, they said, we want to provide the uh, soup for you so you can distribute soup for the people on the square. Wow, that's awesome. It's amazing because, you know, everything what we do, people, they, they know and they call those even that don't come to our church. They, they may be first time heard about us and they just uh, they calling. They said, do you need anything? How can we also help? We see the, what you are doing because, you know, uh, uh, when, when you when you help. Uh, you do that because you, you have a heart. People in Poland, we have over 2.5 million refugees that they came out from Ukraine. And then the, it doesn't look that it will stop because it's still the war going on even more and more. Mm. Mm. But, but you know, those, those people, most of them, they don't want to go anywhere. They don't want to go to other countries. They want to stay in Poland. And then whatever we can do, we do for them, provide for them. And then we understand because we went through the World War II, we went through the communism uh, time that we went to the shop and nothing was in the shop. But, you know, and then that's, that's the heart of Polish people, love and heart for those needed, needed people. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad you're there reaching out. Is there one, I, I know you've heard so many stories, so many people coming through. Is there one particular story that maybe stands out to you uh, that you'd like to share? I tell you something, something what's happening with these children. You know, those children, they desperately, they need men. So we have two boys who are Ukrainians coming from another city to play with them. Mm. Listen, they just staying with them, playing with them all the time. They just like stuck. When Suave goes to the center, those boys are just around him. So mm. you, can, you can see what's the need for those children to see mm. the men. 
and then to to have somebody who that they can have a secure we had one lady that the, that was brought to our place without one eye she saw like in her eyes she lost everything she, that her house was bombed she came here and then we were looking for the place where we can put her so she can stay in a, in other fa families homes mm. and then you know all, all the time we just got a phone call from the border and then they, they ask us if we can receive the others but there was a pregnant woman staying there with two boys and the pregnancy is in danger dangerous she needs desperately to go to the hospital i said we located about 400 miles from the border uh, i don't know if she can make it i said mm -hmm. you need to find a place so we will call you to different pastors to find a place for them so they can have a location where they can where they, they can find a home where can they stay and that she can go to the hospital because it's a it's a critical situation so all kind of those stories they come up but you know but there are also good stories you know when people they come they just found uh, that, that there are love for them well we we've got people even there those who are not staying in our center but they are coming to the church because they find out that there's a christian church so wow. we, also, we are full of the people right now wow wow what wow I'm, I'm so thankful God has placed you there for this moment. You have that facility. Um, what's your biggest need right now? I know in the early days, everybody has a heart to give and it's on the news and it's on everybody's mind. Now that we've gone through it or you've gone through it here for a couple months, this is, this is a prolonged situation. It is, it is. You know, I really appreciate to everyone who was helping us and who was sending the, the funds for us, which is a great help for us. But, uh, but and then please continue this because we don't know how long it will, it will go on because they stay all the time. The food we need to provide, the other stuff we need to provide, pay for the, for the, for the accommodation and pay for, their, uh, for the facilities. Uh, you know, the cost is, 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 is incredible uh, high right now with the gas and, and the electricity like everywhere in the whole Europe, you know, it's crazy. But, you know, we, we're doing good. We thank God that we're doing good. And then, but we just the most important is of course we need to pray that this this will be over this is this is the first that that we really pray that that god will uh, will move uh, in a miraculous way but also we pray that in these situations those people who are not saved they will find christ in that situations that they will see that there is the only hope for them is jesus hmm. wow that's great well Thank you so much for this update. Let's, why don't we wrap up by, by praying? Yes. Um, anybody watching this, if y'all would pray with us, continue to keep Pastor Matic and his team in your prayers and everybody there on the ground in Poland, and they're doing a great job. Um, we're just so thankful for what they're doing. So let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for your grace and your mercy. Lord, thank you for Pastor Matic and his team. Lord, in the church there in Poland, I pray. Uh, that you would continue to protect them. Lord, I pray that you would provide for them. Pray that you would open doors. Lord, I pray that you would give them favor with the local authorities. I pray that you would continue to give them favor with local businesses and restaurants and different people in the community. Lord, I thank you uh, for continuing to send them funds that they need to continue helping uh, these Ukrainian refugees coming in. I pray that you would protect these refugees, bless them, comfort them in this uh, tumultuous time. Lord, I pray that many would come to know you even through this tragedy, Lord, that many lives would be saved. Lord, I pray that you would just continue to bless Pastor Maddox's church, bless his wife and his family as they are on the, the front line of ministering to these wonderful people. Lord, we give you all praise and all glory. Thank you for what you're doing in spite of all of this tragedy. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much. Hey. Pastor, we love you. We're thinking about you. We're praying for y'all. You're on our minds and uh, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Love you too. Blessings to you. Blessings. Bye. Bye. <laughs>